contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, listener discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the curvaceous bounty of Sin City do not reflect those of this station We're or its affiliates. Girl. All yeah. music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected yes, under international copyright law. Sierra, Sweet Cheeks, Toxie, and Glitch are personalities put on for your entertainment. Their stories are real, their language is explicit, and their behavior is out fucking rages. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Blasting to you straight out of Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City, starring Sierra, Sweet Cheeks, Glitz, and Toxic. Good evening, Las Vegas, and people around the world. And all you motherfuckers with the start of the summer sunburn. How about that one? <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I've been floating, getting my tan on a little. You were doing some floating yesterday, Toxie. I floated a little. I'm afraid of the sun. I'm, I'm very I should careful. be afraid of the sun. My father got skin cancer, you know, from being out. But I'm such a... I used to be a goddess. Like, I used to, like, make every effort at every sun waking minute to be out there. This is just a couple of times. I get really dark really easy. So See, I just um, burn and peel. Yeah, that's I used what I to, do. Yeah. When I was younger, I used to, you know, boombox, blast them a little new kids on the block, baby oil <laughs> lathering up, little sun in, in my hair. Oh, sun in, yeah. And, um, and my friend and I used to, like, lay out and burn, burn, burn. And so now I pay for it. I have, you know, the little... Oh, yeah, I went to the dermatologist and when he told me the one time that all of these freckles were from sun damage in my life. Yes. And I went for one summer and stayed out of the sun. And yeah. yeah, like I said, I don't force the issue, but I sure don't fight it off. <laughs> That's for doggone sure. I can wear SPF 50 and still get a sunburn. It has been proven. Yeah. yeah. My son, however, got the Italian out of his dad. And so he's like out in the sun with like SPF 5 and he's just as toasty brown. He as surprised the toast. crap out of me the first time I took him to the pool because I was like, knew that he was going to just fry. And no, it was like, he just wasn't even... up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shocked me. Um, I don't know if you want to, you're going to talk about this um, during your catch up, but you had an interesting post on your Facebook page today. Oh my God. I'll talk about it now. Okay. So, um, I told my son last night, um, because he has a habit of getting up really early in the morning, and then on the weekends, I have the habit of waking up at one, so I told him, <laughs> look, when you get up, wake me up, and he says, okay, mom, because uh, we were we were out all day yesterday at a barrel racing event, and he's, wow. like, super excited, because he's like, I'm going to do that, and I'm like, yeah, you are, and I'm going to be scared, <laughs> but it's okay, so, I have a at, like, who teaches barrel racing, but anyway. So at the, like five o'clock in the morning, he's just banging on my door. And that's not usually what my son does. And then the door cracks open and I can hear my baby daddy going, I need to talk to you. I need you to get up. And I'm thinking, this is the weirdest dream ever that my baby daddy is at my bedroom door trying to wake me oh, up. No. So I kind of just rolled over and went back to bed. And then he pounded on my door again, my bedroom door, mind you, not the front door, my bedroom door. He goes, no, really, I need you to get up right now. I'm like, what? What the, Daniel? No, no, it's it's baby daddy. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. And I know he didn't come all the way in because he knows I sleep mostly naked. So right. he, I he was, put he a was shirt respectful. on, yeah. I come out and his face is covered in blood. <gasps> He's got a towel full of blood. He's like, I got mugged on my way to work this morning. He walks to work at like three o'clock in the morning. Did so, he make it to your house, though? I'll get. I'll, let me oh, finish okay, the story. Okay, I'm jumping ahead. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, I got mugged. I'm like, well, shit, get in the shower and clean off. I don't have any clothes. I'm like, I've got pajamas here. Because Cali guy right. spends weekends with me, so I've got, like, spare pajamas. I'm like, fuck it. I will give you pajamas to wear, and I will wash your clothes. <laughs> So I get him all squared away in the shower, and I walk downstairs to get the clothes started in the wash, and I hear a car running out front. I peek out the window. There's a cop car sitting out there. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go out there, and I, he'd already told me he'd already filed a police report, and he'd been seen by paramedics, so I wasn't in a rush to get him anywhere. Right. So I go out there, tits a swinging, hair all braided, looking <laughs> fucked up in the face. Police officer goes, are you his mother, ma'am? Oh, oh no! 
I said, no, I'm his baby mama. He goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so I give them my phone number because he no longer has a phone number because they stole his phone, his wallet, and the backpack that he'd had since high school. Oh, no. He's he got... probably had electronics in his backpack because he takes a long bus ride, right? Uh, he just had his phone. He was oh, like, okay, good. I was just listening to NPR and then I got mugged. I was like, well, that's what you get. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah. So I, then I have to go into what I call baby mama mode because he has no idea how to micromanage his own life. He can kind of pay his bills on time. He can get back forth to work and he can feed himself. All the rest of that is kind of up in the wind. And it's usually up to me to take care of it. Like I make sure he gets his taxes done and I make sure he's covered on holidays. And... <laughs> right on holidays. I tell him when to take his vacation and where to go and how to get there and all of that stuff. Right. So we get done. It's just like being married. It is. And you know what? I got to tell you this. It's um, one of the best pa two parent co-parenting co-parenting friendships, and it works so well for their little one. I, I've does. seen it a lot in their holidays and birthdays. It's it's a, that's the good part of it all. Yeah, except the five a.m. wake yeah. up calls <laughs> where he's like sobbing on the couch. I don't know what to do now. Well, have you called your bank to cancel your card? No. Okay, call the bank and cancel your card. Have you called your parents to let them know? No, here's my phone. Call them. Have you called the phone company to find out if you have theft insurance on your phone? No. Uh, I'm like, you know what? Call your mom. From this point forward, now mom's going to take yeah, care of this. Because you. baby mama got up way too early this morning to be dealing with it. <laughs> so, so was it on the bus, on the way to no, the bus? No, he was walking. He lives... Um, Kind of at the very beginnings of Little Mexico, right there at Stewart and Pecos. Right, I've been there once, yeah. And he has to walk about a mile and a half, because the buses don't run that early in the morning. Okay. Um, he has to walk about a mile, mile and a half to get to um, the employee shuttle that'll take him out to where he works, because he works out of city, out of the city in another town. Right. And they have an employee shuttle that shuttles people. So he has to walk this mile and a half, but it's past the Clark County Jail, and it's past the Ritzy Fritzy... Uh, golf center there, which is where he got mugged, is right out in front of the Ritzy oh, Fritzy wow. Golf Center. Well, they were right looking there. for Ritzy Fritzy Golf kind of people. Well, they certainly didn't get it because I'm going to tell you, baby daddy does not look Ritzy Fritzy. No. Ever. He <laughs> mostly looks like a guy you shouldn't be mugging because everything he's got, he's begged for. God. So. Well, at least he's okay. Yeah, that, when he's you fine. When I read the post, I was like, oh my God, did they hurt him? Because that's yeah, the he, hard part. He's got a black eye and a bloody nose and well, the bleeding finally stopped at some point. But And he's he got clean that. clothes now and he's taking a shower. I know that at least once this month he's taking a shower, which <sighs> sometimes the only time. <laughs> so I do have to say every time that I've seen him, he's been very appropriate. You must have told him to shower before he comes for holidays. <laughs> I, yes, I have made it very clear that I will not allow him to be seen in public with myself and my child if he looks like he normally does. So he does make sure to clean up, at least when I take him out in public. <laughs> so I've had baby daddy at my house all day because he's like, I don't want to go home. I'm like, fine, you're going to stay here and babysit tonight. And I'm going, uh, I'm leaving. Babysit. And I took like an hour and a half nap on the couch. I'm still exhausted. I'm like, I still just need to go back to bed. I only got like four hours of sleep because right. I was up late. So I was like, oh, I'm going to sleep in. The boy stayed up late, so he's going to sleep in. No, that did not happen. Yeah, that did not plan. happen. Yeah. You know what? I want to mention what happened one year ago today. Um, our mama is, mama is no longer on the show, but it was one year ago today that um, DJ, DJ had, his... had his heart attack. Yeah. And um, she mentioned it. She put a really nice post about it on her Facebook. So those of you that are fans of the show, uh, remember that was a tough day for all of us. But just want to let you know, I see Mama every two weeks, get my nails done. We still try to interact with the children whenever possible. And um, they're doing great and healthy and happy. And she's lost a bunch of weight. And yeah. So I just wanted to, to mention it was one year ago today. So. We're proud of her and yeah. him. Yeah, a lot. Very he worked much. really hard to come back from that. Yeah, they did. And and that, you know what? When something like that happens in a family, not only is it the physical, but there's a lot of emotional stuff that you go through, thinking that you're going to lose your mate or that you're going to go. And so um, everybody's weathered the good storm on yeah. all of that. So good stuff. So what else is going on, girls? That's it. 
I've been micromanaging adult lives for the day. All I can say is I am on Game of Thrones withdrawal because we didn't have it last week. And I can only watch the week before's episode so many times without quoting it back. But all I know is Aunt Liza fell through the moon roof at the end. So excited. It was to see so me. good. See, you got to jump on this bandwagon. Nerds. No, I am nerds. so not the nerd. She's the, 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 the self proclaimed nerd. I am, nerd. I I am, am the nerd. nerd. But I'll tell you, that show. I'm, I, ex- I, I'm excited about Orange is the New Black. I got to get Netflix. Women's Prison. I mean, now now no, we're I talking. Like now we're talking. Some I TV. found I found found out yesterday that like you're like way into like male 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 porn, like <laughs> man on man porn. Yes, I've, why I've did that, said it before. But why did That's that funny. never? Why did that never click mm-hmm. with me? Because everybody was talking about what kind of porn. And she's like, oh, I like to watch gay porn men and, we and I, that. I but you know what i guess it never clicked with me that that was like i mean I'm not, that's actually pretty mm-hmm. common i know a lot of girls that are like i love gay porn and it's yeah. like what why like, totally you know here's here's how it came about i have a friend and um she's a lesbian and she really loved to watch guy on guy porn <laughs> as a lesbian so, yes so as a lesbian so that's one year for funny. her birthday i was buying her a um, box like set of dude gift, well, <laughs> porn. Basket, and i went into the you know the porn store and i'm like i need all your guy on guy stuff and um i made her a little you know birthday gift basket and then we threw a party where we watched it <laughs> we broke open some of that you know dvds and you were like i gotta and, um, i gotta go to the bathroom i'll be right back <laughs> oh, wow. but the, the best part was we had a co-worker there this was years and years ago and we had a co-worker and this co-worker like at first i said i was leaning into everyone i'm like we probably shouldn't put it on that this lady's gonna leave she's you know just very straight straightforward yeah like you know and so um the next thing you know she's sitting there like just mesmerized like she cannot take her eyes off the tv (laughs) (laughs) we're walking you corrupted her chips all this and she's still sitting there like it just just, doesn't turn me on sexually it doesn't do a lot for me male on male yeah guy on guy doesn't do a lot for me but guy on himself does lots for me i love watching guys Guys masturbate yeah Yeah. i don't know what it is about what about it what is it that that gets you does it does it i mean is it a turn on turn on or is it just something you enjoy does it physically like i mean like when i watch fat lesbian porn like i got the you know, play with myself there. So do you, you ting- have to do that. You get a tingle you in your no no zone. Yeah. I get a ting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told her earlier in the week I'm gonna start calling it my no no zone. No no zone. My no no zone. Because you're like no no, don't stop. <laughs> That's I was gonna say your no no, like you're telling me to get away. No 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 it no. It could be either. It could be either at that point. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, it's Jeez. a great. It's Jeez. A, it's a great thing to talk. It's a great term to use both around adults and kids because when it's around kids, it's like, no, no, no one touches you there. That's right. true. And with adults, it's like, no, no, don't stop touching me there. <laughs> it's perfect. Wow. But no, yes, I, I, it, it makes a little tingly in my no-no zone. Would you zone. like to see Mr. Toxie with a man? Um, I would. Uh, what? Mr. Toxie I have asked. Would, I've would asked other there? guys. Um, he he might. He might let one maybe. Um, I don't. Give him a I don't. Job. Right, right. I don't feel that he'd exactly, you know, jump I, at the chance to be a bottom right, and say like, right. "Hey, I'm gonna, you but know, just sit back I'm gonna and let receive, somebody, you know, but bob on your knob." Blowjob, you know. yeah, blowjob ain't gay. No, no. you could close your eyes. It's and that also, could be anybody down there. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, see. So I yeah. He said he, he said he will. That's cool. Will. Now that I well, well no, 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 no. Now that he said that he will, <laughs> we must make it a mission to find one to slob his knob because we got to get this on. Slob his well, knob. Well, it has to. There's more to it. He's not like um, I will just let some guy. What about a tranny? Go down. Um, I don't know. I never. Because that would look like a woman. I never Do you asked. would you, would that satisfy your guy on guy? I. I There's don't a dick. No, I don't no. know. I mean, I like transgender porn as well, but I just I don't know. I don't know if that would. Look at us giving her like the third degree about. Well, will he do it? Have you it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody! Our girl Glitz is out of town for a family wedding out in Buffalo. She had lots of a lot of selfies. I'm so jealous of all the greenery she's enjoying. Oh right yeah, now. did you see it on her pictures? Yeah. There's a oh, lot of yeah. the pictures of the wedding and stuff. So that's where our girl Glitz is this week. Um, also, want to mention that this Saturday night, if you are here in Las Vegas, you want to come to BBW Club Las Vegas. We will be giving out um, a spot 
to our Strippers 101 class on June the 22nd. So um, you'll want to be part of that raffle. Um, to and get this, in on that. Just, just to give you a little bit more information on it, um, the B BBW Club Las Vegas, it's their official three-year anniversary. They've been there um, at that location. It is absolutely, you know, Fun. the, the official it. date. Yeah. And is it three years having... at that location or three years in Vegas? I believe it's three years at that location. Yeah, I think it is too. Mm, I don't know. You don't know? No. I, I think it's three years in Vegas. Yeah, I'll I think it's out. three years in Vegas because I know it that. It could be three years in Vegas as well. Yeah, because I know it was around our second season when they first started. We went to their very first one over yeah, at, they were uh, over at hookah, the hookah Lounge. lounge. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a while. at first at the Hookah Lounge. And then there was, gosh. There was that one that nobody went to, and then Red Label. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Red, the, the Hookah Lounge, those people are, are well, they've jack had, off. Right, they've the had a couple who, of different groups in yeah. there, and it doesn't seem like they could ever no, maintain they were, anybody, so they it's, were something's going on. They pretty bad over there. Yeah. They, um, you know, one night they make these contractual agreements, and then, you know, they're like, uh... We need your DJ cut off by 12. We're going to, you know, bring well, in ours. And that's what happened. The BBW Takeover was there. And we went to a couple of those parties and had a great time. And then I same heard thing. it was the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know, he made different arrangements with the with the people running the club. And Yeah, what I there. heard was there's supposed to be drink specials. There were never drink specials. Or if they were, it was not what was advertised. Right, or... well, and they did have, but you had to drink them right there at the bar. And it was oh that that's where I had my that? tequila. Yeah. That's the reason I can't drink tequila. It was at that place, and it, and was, it was women. Like only one hour, one hour, the, yeah. all you can drink. And and you know I was there, and and Eve will be in here. Uh, Eve will be here at eight. Nice. Just so everybody Big knows, Kitty Big Eve. Kitty Eve. We love her. She's my favorite ass. One of, she she's <laughs> one of my favorite, favorite people. Ass. Period. Yeah, she I'm, is. She's so much fun. I've been fun. so excited. Like I woke up today and I'm like, Eve is on the show. Eve is on the show. I can't wait. And even though you know, I saw her this morning. Yeah, and, and we saw her yesterday. And I'm gonna and, see yeah. her after, and I saw her yesterday. I'm still like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Eve is on the show. Um, but you know, she could, you know, tell you about it as well. And then I was also there with Mama. And um, we were all like, we're going to make them regret this women all, all you can drink, drink for, one hour. <laughs> for one hour. And when you limit us to an hour, we're really oh, going to make you regret it. They stood at the bar it. and pounded. I remember pounded. that. Pounded. Pounded. I could not have done it. Oh, they did. never oh, like. They made me I... want to puke watching them. I'm yeah. telling you. I, I was so sick. It was ridiculous. But the worst part is I ended up in, and I know I told this story once before on air, but I ended up in the parking lot with somebody that was, uh, not your husband. Yes. We're all, what am I doing? But, but you are not my husband. That's a common occurrence. It is, okay? but this, this was a little different. So I had to, that, that particular person, um, came up and was there at winter weekend. And so, you know, Mr. Toxie was well aware of the situation, right. you know, right after it happened, he, he, I went in and I'm like, uh, uh -huh. and so, um, but I had to go up and I'm like, Hey babe, I love you. Do you remember that one time I got really wasted? <laughs> the tequila incident. That's great that it's got a name. The, the tequila, tequila <laughs> incident. I'm like, it's like a movie. Go over that, there. Yeah. <laughs> we should totally have a movie based on Toxie's life called The Tequila, tequila Incident. Yeah. That's true. It so. would put the hangover to shame. It, it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely would. How funny. But I remember that one. It was very... Um, just way, way, way more than I'll uh, get into. But I had like someone running interference apparently. And I mean, it was just, yeah. And you get like, yourself in some predicaments, I girlfriend. I get myself in trouble. <laughs> I'm but surprised you. you still drink. It's all, it's all her. She, no, it's, she puts I, herself it's totally But it's not it. her. It's the alcohol. No, because when she's sober, I can't see her doing that shit. Right. No, you're no. right. I would never. You're right. I, would, I couldn't even imagine doing half the stuff sober that I do drink. Do you need a six-step program? Oh, I have a I program. Only need <laughs> half a program. <laughs> Well, she only drinks on the weekends, so that's it. I only mean, have. Well, and last night just... she's like, her and I said, you know, we're gonna go to the Red Rooster Saturday. I, she's like, I want to get my drink on. I go, oh, me too. And she's like, it's been two months since I had been it's drunk. A month and a half. It was not the last Red Label, the Boy, one she before. Was, she was a dry out. And wow. I would like my my liver didn't know what to do. It was like you like, you know, hey, you okay out there? <laughs> <laughs> me and Alexia and Calypso went on a 
like a three month bender one time. Um, this was back when we were all kind of able to do that. And at some point we were all drinking and we went to our favorite little old man bar because drinks are like three bucks and beers are like a dollar. So we were there all the time. And uh, the bartenders would generally pay for our drinks because we tipped so well. At one point, I had to stop drinking because my liver hurt. I was like, <laughs> I really need to stop because we were drinking yes. every single night. I was like, we, I got yeah, to stop that to be much. Yeah, because right. my liver hurts. I, I mean, I say on occasion, I'm like, I think I think this will be my last time. I got myself in too much trouble. Now, let me just tell you. I don't get in trouble with Mr. Toxie. We never wake up and have a morning where he's like, listen, I'm really pissed about last night and blah, blah, but blah. But that's because he's begging you to fuck other men. It's, <laughs> it's never. It's no, he's never like, listen, I'm, I'm really disappointed that you didn't get that guy home last night. Because... Right, right, right. I do get that sometimes. <laughs> he's like, he's why like, did you just take him to a room? Like, listen, I really need you to follow through here. <laughs> but he never, he's actually very reassuring. When I, when he's like, hey, do you remember, you know, swinging from a chandelier and eating someone's goldfish? Um, you know, and I'm normally like, oh, crap, they're going to hate me. This sucks. And he's always the one. He's like, the. it's the one time he's the voice of reason. And he's like, <laughs> just let it go. You were having fun. Just let it go. <laughs> That's, I think, he's because I'm going. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, there was a couple times when we were sitting at the at the rooster last night. I'd go, where's Toxie? Oh. There, like he always knows where you're at, yes, but he never interferes in your little thing, yes, yes, but yeah. he, always, he always keeps, he, an, he eye keeps an eye out. And you know what? Like, I felt that way, like, very protected last night, like, even like for everybody at the table. Um, uh, remember how um DJ used to be like the protector? Mm -hmm. We have a new protector, and yeah. it's Mr. Toxie, he's good like that, he is, so yeah, he is. I'm just, I'm just glad that he's okay with you being a sloppy drunk <laughs> <laughs> my wrangler keeps me from getting quite that drunk well usually. you know what else i don't think she'll mind me telling you fan of the show michelle remember mm -hmm. she was on her high well we invited her last night with a friend and it was another a first for her she had never been there before and she's had so many firsts with us and uh she she looked at me last night and she's like you you guys have just opened me up to so much and she's so <laughs> cute and so it was fun to see her having a good time there last night that's good yeah i we love have, going um, to the rooster just really quick we do have a couple people in chat but we have a few guests in chat so if you would like to log in and sign up for an account it's free and yep. then you can chat and ask questions and in about uh 35 36 minutes when eve gets here you'll get a chance to ask eve some questions and she'll give you all of her longings to find you if you don't know who eve is check right now on um since the curvaceous bounty of sin city facebook page you'll see a picture but she is um um a model for big cuties and she's known as eve and if you know her i don't think there's anybody on the planet that is shaped quite like our girl eve she, she has an epic amazing epic behind like she has told me she'll be walking in new york city down the street and people just follow her her right. ass is like the pied piper well and it, it it what what's crazy is that it's not just that she just has a giant ass she also has a tiny waist in comparison and she's beautiful and she right. has the best personality ever and so... she's like six foot four yeah, she's how really, tall she's is six, she she's four. Six foot well i'm she's i'm five three six everyone's foot, yeah. over six foot to me but she, she is a little under but yeah, yeah. she's tall. she's a glorious Amazon. That is what she That's is. That's a good way to describe her. A glorious. And she's got boobs too. She's not like some of our girls who have big asses and no boobs. She's got big ass <sighs> and boobs. Yeah. She's so like fucking I said, bodacious. Check her out. She's yes. gonna be here. Um, I know. I know. There's some boys out there. I already know that drool over her on a daily basis. So. Um, well, the last time she was here, I had to throw a couple of people out of the chat because they kept be like, show us your ass, show us your ass. It's like, no, we want to talk to her face. I mean, her ass is great, but go pay to see it. Well, we will get, get her up one booty time show. to do a, a turnaround just so you all know out there. So just get ready because you don't know when it's coming. Right. And you don't want to miss it. Oh, God, she's got a glorious um, body. Do you guys <laughs> remember a few weeks ago out there, um, we put in um, um an ad on craigslist we did to find the perfect man who will come crack our crabs i really we... think we should have replied to some of them i i have to tell you and i'll explain why i didn't go any further i did reply to a few 
Um, and I had one that I, I chatted with for a moment and he did not want to come on the show because he felt he would be fodder, his words for the show. Of course he would be. Um, he would, <laughs> but hold on just one moment. Let me bring this up. I have to tell you, uh, I'll read the ad really quick. Well, first of all, Craigslist tell you pulled it down. Response. Craigslist, and then you we reposted were, it, we right? We were pulled down and reposted. What were, we, what were we pulled down for you? Do you know? No, they don't no, tell they you. Don't they don't tell you. tell me. Craigslist don't care. But she put it back up and they didn't mess with it then. So here's the ad. Let me now explain so where funny. we put it. We didn't put it in seeking a mate or anything. No, we, we put just it in put it in um, strictly platonic, strictly platonic. And the whole purpose was we um, Sierra and I were eating crabs and it, it takes a while to open them and we really yeah. felt that this would be it, it would expedite the process. If we had someone to do if it, we had someone to do it for us. So our ad is, I'm looking for a man to crack crab legs at a restaurant. And it says, we are 3BBW in need of a man to come to dinner with us and crack our crabs. We do not like touching the shell. Plus, we can't shell it fast enough. However, we enjoy an occasional all-you-can-eat crab buffet. Must have clean hands and be willing to crack as many crab legs as possible. This does not involve any type of sex acts. There will be no touching, kissing, or sex of any type. You are purely cracking crabs for our eating pleasure with no favors in return. We prefer <laughs> that you not eat, as it will slow down our crab eating process. If you must eat something, we will not pay for the meal. Actually, we are more than willing to allow you to pay for our crab fest if you insist. Please respond ASAP. We prefer someone with a quiet persona so as to not interfere with our crab experience. And under you could put characteristics you're looking for, and I put clean fingernails <laughs> and strong crab cracking hands. So that was the ad. And some of our responses were some very were nice. colorful. Some were yeah, at colorful. First, at first, they were nice. They were kind of funny at first. I mean, our very first one was like, Yours is one of the funniest posts I've seen in a long time. I love to be your crab leg cracker. Um, that was the very first one. Then it, oh, and we had a few like that. There was a couple really funny ones. Um, yes, there was, and I'll, yes, I'll find them. There were yes. was one guy like he's some of... crab cracker from Bikini Bottom or some shit. Yeah, that exactly. is hilarious. That hilarious. I will let let me find that. And but um, some people got very nasty about like and made lots of ugly references to the like, size here's of our one, bodies. What are you? And they never saw us. I just put BBW in right. there. They don't even know because what I, we've done. Right. Exactly. They, the website or I, nothing was on I there. I assumed, um, you know, th that if somebody was looking for a BBW, then this would come up. I got like, what planet are you fat slobs from? Um, who would want to crack crap for three fat ass bitches? And then it got even more. That one became a little racial, so I won't read that. Um, <laughs> this one says, hello, my name is Robert Robustrium. You may call me Bob. I've served many years faithfully at the Krusty Krab, providing patrons with exactly the service you are requesting. My slender and well-manicured hands are perfect for removing the tender meat from those big, meaty claws. I would be honored to be your humble servant for the evening, ensuring that you and your enormous friends get more than their money's worth from that all-you-can-eat buffet. I do not need to eat because I can just filter feed while performing my duties. All I ask is that my mentally handicapped friend Patrick be able to join us for the evening. He will not be a bother. I'm just afraid to leave him alone too long. You, you will like him. He is a real star. My boss can be a crab, so I, I kind of have a personal vendetta against crustaceans. Don't even get me started on that asshole girlfriend stealing Larry Lobster. <laughs> so I would love to remove the innards from their lifeless body parts and watch a lovely trio devour them with pleasure. Hope to hear from you soon. That was so funny. So, I was rolling on the did, floor. Did you by any chance send him something back? Um, I know a couple of them you did respond back because he is just hysterical. I'd love to see if we can get is, him to call he is, in. So, he was funny. Here's, um, what, more. Hold, here's, hold. here's what I want to do. I want to change this ad and remove the reference of BBW and find three of our most beautiful skinny friends and take a picture of them and repost the ad <laughs> 
with it not geared towards big girls asking for a Craig Crapper, but Just three beautiful, you know what? skinny you girls. You are so right. We will have to. The do response would one. be completely oh, I can, different. different. Here's oh, one great idea. I can crack your ass, bitch. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Um, I got a nat crack in my ass. Thank you. Oh, uh, hold on. Let's see. What happened is finally, like midweek, Toxy sends us all an email. I, I took the ad down. My skin is not that thick. <laughs> I suggest you contact Joe at the pig farm on the east side. He loves to feed pigs. Oh, that's so um, nice. Please, yeah, please, you... please tell me this is a fucking joke. <laughs> it's like a giant letters. One stop that crab. This one I did um, respond to. Haha, ha, finally an ad that made me laugh. Wondering how many furious emails from pissed off guys who took it serious. I did chat <laughs> well, with that Wait a minute. We a were moment. serious, weren't we? Uh, oh, no, no, kind of. I don't know how serious I oh, was. Oh, please. But... I will let somebody crack if we crap. If we had found a true worshiper, like one of those guys who oh. would pay to do this, right, right, I think yeah. maybe we would have taken this it one, out. This one said, show, huh? yeah. <laughs> this one said, fucking stupid ass wipes. <laughs> I mean, people they started got really to get emotional really, about this, huh? Really invested. Apparently, they were. You know, I think that this. First of all, we should do the experiment at Sierra said, because that's a great idea. But we should randomly um, post it. Do we have a commercial? Yeah, we do. Well, you know what? Let's take a little break. We're running over. You can hear the music playing. Uh, Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. We'll be right back 30 minutes till Big Cutie Eats. 